Region 5 residents picketed the RDC office yesterday. More from Sasha Ram Ramsaran. Residents of Region 5 yesterday staged a protest in front of Region 5 Regional Democratic Council RDC office, Fort Wellington, West Coast, Burbese. According to the residents, the protest was held due to the regional chairman's recent actions towards His Excellency President David Granger, which they deemed as disrespectful. A few PVP supporters and councillors were also present at yesterday's protest. We are having a peaceful protest here. And I think the best thing for the chairman to do is to resign. Because he said he's not giving a political He disrespect my president, Mr. David Arthur Granger. He disrespected him by calling him a jackass. So until he disrespect, until he until apologize, you are yeah, not going to stop the protest? No, we will not. Yeah. Call my friend, Everything President of Jaka, public apology in the, in the public. Public, yes. apology. public apology. He has public to make an apology, apology. and we will protest until he make that apology. I am here. We will not by them, but I am here for an RDC meeting. Today is our statutory meeting, 10 o'clock. I have a decision for you, 10 o'clock. We are statutory meeting. When I come here, I find all kind of destruction around me. And me, Plakian, say we need. Development and not destruction. That chairman is very disrespectful and we need him to remove himself or apologize to the president of this country. When they were in their 23 years, that Carol Joseph sat on the on the opposition side, never disrespected Mr. Jack Joseph. or anybody else. Come on, we're Guyanese, do the right thing. So Rampal, apologize or pick up your bat and your ball and go in Jesus' name. I'm here for the chairman to stay. You're here for the chairman to stay? Yeah. Okay. Does he do a good job? How do you feel about the protest this morning? Happy, yeah, so. And so why are you here this morning? I hear um, the chairman to stay and pick the people home. Oh, it's really interesting. Mm -hmm. Uh, here because the chairman, the regional chairman for, for Region 5, disrespect the head of state of this land two times. We call him a jackass as a meeting at Pauls. And, and, and when, when the president came here for, 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 for give out the buses, he didn't attend and he had, in, he, he, he had what it he had invitation. What Carol Joseph has done, like, first she tried to prevent me from walking in to the building. And when the chairman came, she lay down in front of the, the passage, uh, preventing his vehicle from coming through, and everybody else blocked the entrance to the building. This man is the chairman for the region. The chairman for the region. And he has a right to conduct business in the public, in the, the, the building that belongs to the government. Okay? And so, for the police to allow this type of behavior to go unchallenged, because I personally am very disappointed in the police. They had a right to, after warning her several times to move, they should have arrested her, but they didn't. And so, in order to avoid the confrontation, the chairman decided to leave the location. But this type of behavior should not be allowed, period. In response to the protest action that was taken by the residents, APNU AFC member Abel Sitaram and Councillor Carl Smith Joseph made these comments. Well, we as councillors had nothing to do with organizing that protest. It was organized by the residents of Region 5 that wants to see that we uphold the laws of Guyana. And they, have the, they are also demanding that the regional chairman publicly apologized to the president. When we turned up for a statutory meeting yesterday morning, there were the protests going on, and we had to join because we are representing the people of the region. And we did lend our support to them. Um, we did not want to block that passageway or driveway, but because of the regional councillor, Ms. Joseph, was hit to her breast by the PUP MP and she fell. And we were waiting on an ambulance to take her to the hospital. So there's no way that we were blocking him. And in fact, the chairman did not turn up for the statutory meeting. He came one hour, 15 minutes late. 
and the meeting had to be called off. I observed and I listened to the regional chairman and his supporters saying that the president said he doesn't want an apology and the minister of community says that the president that's a total lie these people have been over the time been telling persons lies we have been speaking to media to the media but for some reason what we are saying is not being carried by the media so we take this opportunity this morning and we trust that whatever we say today is understood and is carried because People must understand, there is no problem in the council. The problem is the chairman is disrespectful. Now, you can understand, yes, he didn't turn up when the president came. But would you, on the 5th of May, at a public meeting at Prophet Fowles area, 5th of March, sorry, at a public meeting during the local government campaign, refer to His Excellency as a jackass? Well, that has taken its toll. And I think enough is enough. Until he apologizes, we will not allow him to govern our region. The residents and regional executives are hoping that the chairman, Mr. Big Chin Ramphil, will comply by the next RDC meeting. Calls made to the regional chairman for a comment with regards to the protest proved futile. Sasha Ramsaran reporting for Channel 8 News.